This is the question that's been motivating me now for about 20 years. Why are we together, this bright species, creating that which not one of us would individually choose? How can we make sense of that? No one gets up in the morning and says, yes, I want another child to die of hunger today. And yet some thousands have died of hunger today. No one gets up and says, how can we be sure that our food system in the US becomes a health threat? How can we, be, <laughs> how can we do that? How, hey, what can we do to make sure that now what it is? One in three of our children will become uh, diabetic in their lifetime and much of that is related to the food system we've created. No one gets up with that intent. So how can we figure this out? Well, with many great teachers over decades, I have this hypothesis that we have to look at what's unique about human beings. And one of the things is the way that we see the world. We see the world through a mental map, Anna and I call it. Eric Fromm, uh, the social philosopher, called it a frame of orientation. It is a filter. We don't see the world as it is so much as, as we are, the belief systems that we often absorb unconsciously. And I just want to make my case about the power of frame with a very, um, with a very uh, homey story. <clears throat> OK, last Thanksgiving. I got up in the morning and I was going to make my favorite root vegetable dish. And to do that, I had to find my Dutch oven and I knew where it was. Of course, it was right in that cupboard right down there, but it wasn't there. And so I looked in those cupboards and those cupboards and down in the basement, I couldn't find my Dutch oven. So I was very frustrated. I, okay, I'll do something else. And I started doing something else. About an hour later, I turn around and there it is, except that I had a plant in it. <laughs> now, I want to show you this because it's pretty obvious, right? It's red already, right? But the frame I had, I was looking for a kitchen item, not a planter. So literally, even though that big red thing there, I didn't see it for the longest time. That's what I mean by the power of frame. So this, this power of frame idea is all well and good if the, if the filters through which we see are fundamentally life-affirming, life-enabling. But my, my hypothesis, when I want to share the thesis tonight, is that you and I are alive together on this earth when the dominant mental map that is going global is in some ways fundamentally life-denying. So we've got to, I believe, we've got to be able to name what that is in order to reverse it and to align it with life. So I'm going to suggest that the fundamental issue here is that you and I, that we are absorbing in our culture a, a frame of orientation, a mental map that is destructive.